are following a very definite line of inquiry in this investigation, even though it is very early days, helped by our colleagues in Angarda Shikon. However, the key to this investigation in particular lies within the travelling community, most specifically those members who were in attendance at their family gathering. But we are here and we are ready to listen. And I would say we collectively have a moral and legal obligation to Barney's wife Bridget to try and give her some sense of justice and peace in the midst of very personal tragedy. Those responsible are still at large. We believe we know who they are and as I've already alluded to, are following a very specific line of inquiry to that end with the assistance of our colleagues in Angola Shikona. I would say to those involved, you are postponing the inevitable. Come forward and present yourselves to the police service, either north or south of the border. I would ask you to reflect on what took place yesterday. I would ask you to reflect on the heartache you are causing to the Gimli family, to the wider travelling community and indeed the communities north and south of the border here who have been affected by the brutal act we visited on the streets of Newton Butler yesterday. <coughs> reflect on what it is like to live looking over your shoulder, fleeing retribution or arrest. It's in everyone's interest that you come forward and present yourselves to police as soon as possible to avoid any further harm.